Well, good evening, everybody. Welcome back to MadDarts.tv. And we've witnessed two exhilarating semi-finals. And now the showpiece event, the final, to see who will be the number one contender for the English national belt well, in Bristol on April the 17th to take on Daryl Fitton. You it's Dave Parletti good of Surrey taking on daughters, Ricky King. Good luck, mate. Ricky King won the bullseye prior to going live in what is a race to eight throughout. And he gets this match Eight's underway. Well. Hundred. Both players coming through a crack field today. Outstanding effort from both players. But they won't rest on that. They want to be the number one contender. Our very first 100. contender series. Great success it's been today. Our first of many. Tomorrow, everybody, we've got the Welsh edition. Still time to enter. Capped off at 64, so be quick and do with Williams again in Bristol. 140. Solid first three visits to the board from Dave Parletti as he looks to break through early. 161 going for the opening leg. Loses his line but recovers well. Two, five. two trebles to leave 36, which he was hitting very well in the semi final. He's got all the time in the world to hit this 36. It's game one. Takes it out, a nice 13 dart opening leg and 115 average. The standard here at maddarts.tv. Great opportunity for both players to be the number one contender. 60. Reaching the number one contendership, possibly the belt. 60. And the royalties that come with that financially. One hundred. An early example of the mad pyramid. 55. Dave Parletti, our England Titans. 97. Our England Invaders champion. Super regional looking to take the next step up to the English national championship. Of course, beyond that, the European belt and the world belt. 96. Stepping stones to greatness. And the concept of the belt, the boxing MMA, MMA structure, what modern amateur darts has set up, fantastic. 100. And Ricky, again, chasing this one because Paletti wants 48 to back up his breaker throw with a hold. Needs to adjust. Unable Eight. to do so. So 109 to get a foothold in this final. 109 going. 17 on 9. He wants tops for a 109 checkout. Yeah, yeah, it's really... And a very confident checkout at that. You don't reach the final without playing superb darts. And that was an example of how well he's been playing. Ricky King. Fantastic darts. A great effort in that semi-final to come back from 6-4. Reeled off four legs after the... With a 90 average in beating Jamie Elm. 96. Showing the gears that the man from Dorset has. 134. Paletti not too shabby with his averages. In the mid-80s, in his success. But of course, averages mean nothing. It's all about getting the win and getting through to the final. Sixty-three. 
expected to be as close as both semi-finals. 95. The architect taken on the sting. 96. So the big fish 170 check out. We've seen him do it many times on TV. 98. Gets a treble. So 72, but 112. And he's got double top again. Yeah, three. Unbelievable stuff there from Ricky King. And he takes the lead for the first time. 100% on checkouts. Two out of two. And three impressive. Three dart checkouts, 109 backed up with 100 is rising. One, two, one. And Paletti, a very fluent player, will not be faced by that. Very experienced. We mentioned how quick he rose from within three years. A real class act. 140. Two, one, followed by a 140. Is up. Break after 10 legs. It proved crucial for Ricky King in the semi final. 60. Ninety-six. Paletti trailing in the match, but with a 98 average, playing 84. Again, proven averages mean nothing. 60. A high standard from both players. And it's Ricky King's turn for the big fish. 96. Two treble 19s there would have cost left 36, but got one of them, so 74. And it's Paletti's turn for a three dart checkout. 100. Leaves double 10 if he gets the opportunity, but Ricky King for breathing space in the match and a 3 1 advantage. 63 going, treble 13. He wants the bullseye. Yeah, three. And once again. 100% on checkouts, three from three. It's not a three-figure checkout, but it's equally as important. Fantastic bull hit there. And the confidence, Ricky King, backing up his 90 average in the semi-final with a fine performance so far. Paletti's got to respond. 86. As mentioned, the Southern Counties champion is Ricky. Beating a field of 224 to get the £2,000 first prize. So I must admit, I hadn't heard of Ricky prior to tonight, but he certainly impressed me and I'll be watching out for him in the future. And that's what modern amateur darts is all about. Giving people the platform to expe express their class. 58. So, 2-2-3, two, two, looking to set things up here for Ricky King. Paletti back on 2-8-7. So he'll be looking for a 2-3 or three treble visit next time. 59. Leaves himself a finish by covering on 19s there. 164. And the way he's playing, you wouldn't fancy you'd fancy him to take this out. 100. Six darts if needed. And he will need those six darts, but leaving it handy with that treble 20 and the third one also going in the red bit. So 24 when he returns. But how much pressure will he be applied on him? 3 5. A very good two treble visit from Paletti, but 24 for 4 1. Yeah, one. And Ricky King maintains his 100% on checkouts, 4 from 4. And breathing space, a great hold of throw there. 100. The leg you feel, Paletti, needs to win on his throw. 80. And King's been relentless on his uh, checkouts. Ah, 86.
57. Ricky King beating George Killington in the quarterfinals, 8-2. 43. So the evidence was there that he's on fire. A fine performance against the development tour, former PDC tour card holder in Killington. 96. 82 in the quarterfinals, 90 average in the semifinals. His timing is formed to perfection. 65. 92. 95. Strays into the treble five with it, into the treble 20 to leave himself a 1-1-2 one, two, one, one, two check out. Pallet, Pallet, one, one, two, very doable for him. As we mentioned, England international. Thirty-eight. Two double tops there after a treble nineteen. Unable to execute this time. What's going on, Ricky? Four. And scoreboard pressure, probably the reason there from Parletti. You feel if he was 4 1 up, he would take that. Yeah, three. And Ricky King makes him pay for this. And a. F Break after 10 legs, but we may not need the break, such as Ricky King's pro prolific performance so far. One hundred. Parlet, he'll just go about his work and look to claw his way back in this match. Parlet, his quarter-final performance of beating the England Titans 100. Super Regional Champion in Rob Collins. And we'll be live streaming that event next Saturday, the semi-finals and finals. So please join us for that next Saturday to see who will, he will be facing in Bristol on the 17th of April. 16, so 164 check out. Third highest. 41. Surprise. Parlet, he's got to jump all over that 41. And he's listening to me. 99. 1, 2, 3 for 6, 1. He wants treble 18 for the bullseye. So Paletti will be back for one four two, and you feel uh, he's got to well. take this out because King back on thirty two, and he will be back for that for a six one advantage. Sixty. Sixteen. So eighty two for an unexpected opportunity. Tidy's up to leave 40 42. if he gets the opportunity. But I don't think he'll get it with 16 required for King. 12. And is King seeing the winning line too early? A bit of winning line eight is going on there. And Parletti takes out the leg. 5-2 reduces the arrears. We mentioned the upcoming events with Modern Amateur Darts. Please check out the website maddarts.tv to see the upcoming events. Please register and get amongst the action. Pub to Pro. 140. And of course, the parachute if you're coming off the tour to get back on.
120. And later on in the year, we've got our four showpiece event. The Modern Amateur Darts National League Championship. The British Amateur Open Finals. The Golden Gauntlet, the one I'm most looking forward to. The Royal Rumble, last man standing format. 7-0-1, 30 names drawn out. Last man standing for £10,000. And that will be epic. 60. So both on 161 are you? And it's King with first opportunity at it. It looks good. He won. That's 25. And very unfortunate not to secure it. Wired the bullseye. Will Parletti go one? 97. And the architect again relying on King's misses. 6 2. He wants double eight. 21. So Parletti to close once again. 64 going. Treble 16 or treble eight. He won 16 for tops or 20 for his favourite double 18. Three. And a very important take out there from Parletti. We mentioned the 61 to 100 checkouts. Mightily important. Just as important as the flashy three figure checkouts in reaching this stage. But what a crucial turnaround that could be. 6 2 or 5 3. He's back in this match, everyone. 140. Great opening visit there from King. And 40. As he looks to brush off their misses. Seventy-nine. And forty. Very important hold of throw needed from King here as he looks to stop the momentum that Parletti's Parletti's forming. One three five. And back to back one forties for Parletti. And King with a one forty or one three five is on. This is hotting up. Forty. Potential 11 dart leg from Parletti. 15. And he'll get that opportunity. Yeah. Jesus. 15. <laughs> 25 left. Another tight miss on the bullseye, that Parletti this time so Ricky King as he will look to start off with a bullseye. Misses the treble 64. 19 for the bull, so Parletti will be back for 25 to make it one leg deficit. And two. Oh my god. Shit. Excuse my language. Oh, bust it. And Parletti. Unfortunately, god. oh my god, the wrong score there. So, the door is ajar for King to take advantage. 68 going, great first start. 64. But oh, Mary of the board that he god. struggled with god. as the match has developed to give Parletti an opportunity to get back in this game. 25 going for Parletti. As he gathers his thoughts. And that it goes the right way this time. It's 5-4 from 5-1. What a game we've got on our hands. 56 on the pad. And the winner of this will be a very fitting challenger to the Dazzler, Daryl Fitton. Three-time world semi-finalist, Daryl Fitton. Still producing the magic after over th three decades in the sport. And the hot... Fine gentleman of Tony O'Shea, Nathan 60. Aspinall. From that part. Three thoroughbreds of the game. 42.
on 40. Yeah, well timed one. Level things up at the interval. Get out the starting gates from 6 4 down in the semi final. 46. But he's not going to be trailing going into the final. It's either 5 all or 6 4. 180. And a maximum for Ricky King, the first of the match. 7 140s apiece. But a very timely maximum. 60. 6 4. Eighty-six. Great tidy up there to leave thirty-two, but Paletti for one hundred and ten. Ninety-four. Thirty-two for six-four at the break. Yeah, in one. And he does just that with the first dart. A sixteen dart. Break of throw for Ricky King. And he's two away from being the number one Brilliant contender. Now. We've got a few minute break, folks. Please stay with us. We'll be back very shortly.
Welcome back, everybody, as we reach the climax of the number one contendership for the English National Championship. And Ricky King, who trailed 6-4 in his semi-final at the interval, has the luxury of a 6-4 advantage himself. He's two away from reaching Bristol on the 17th of April. But Dave Parletti will have other ideas. A real class act, England international, and greatly experienced on TV. We're about to get underway after the interval. It's Ricky King's darts. Seven flag of the match. Go, mate, when you're ready. The first of many. Of course, join us for the England invaders. Leadership. Rob Collins. A 180 to get us underway from Ricky King. As he won. Two 180s of the match to Parletti's nail. And Parletti usually yeah, prolific 49. on the 180 scoring. Jesus. Three 180s in his semi-final with a, with a 90 average, sorry. And two five. From Ricky King. And he's backing that up in the final with a fine effort. Both evenly matched on the average is 85. One forty. And a great effort from Parletti, who trailed 5-1 in the match to claw this back to 6-4. We've got a real game on our hands here. 96. Parletti responding with a 180, with a 125 and 140 of his own. 100. 95 if he gets the opportunity. King will start off on 19s here on 129. He wants treble 20 for the bullseye for a third three-figure checkout. 57. So 95 for 6-5. Again, little margin for error now for Parletti. Double 16. Uh, 63. And a good effort there from Parletti. But 72 for 7-4. The Southern Counties champion wants tops. And it's, it's been intermittent because he's had opportunities to really game put this one. game to bed. And Parletti's punishing him. One leg in this one now. And 6-5 in a race to eight. Parletti's darts for a level game. The Kings 180 to start the leg after the interval. So an impressive break of throw there. You mentioned Parletti's experience on TV. Played at the lakeside where he reached the last 32. That's trophy at last 32 performances. But his ranking was a lot A top 10 player in the BDO. 180. Trebles for sure, but it's doubles for door at the clutch moments of this match. 60. Can he get a two leg advantage once again? It's nip and tuck in leg 12 here. <clears throat> Back amongst the mums, and he does just that. 44 after nine darts, fourth maximum, and Parletti trails 90. on 224 but comes back with a 180 of his own. This game is going the wire. Well. Parletti, 64 gone. He wants two 18s, his favourite double. <laughs> a friend for most of the live oh, yeah. streaming tonight, but a four on this occasion. And 32 for 7-5 to go yeah, one man. away. Secures the leg. And he's one away from the match. Impressive stats, 50%. King, 39%. But seems like he's missed a lot of doubles after them. 100% checkouts in the opening four legs. Oh, my bad. It matters not. He's got a 7-5 advantage. Very impressive stuff from the man from Dorset. 60. Ricky, who also played on the Challenge Tour, the middle pyramid on the PDC. Last 32 was his best nice. runs. In them competitions. But with darts produced tonight, I'm sure we'll be playing at a high level with modern amateur darts. 
and the Challenge Tour. We'll no doubt be attempting qualifying back. school in January also. So he's got a win out from here. Three legs for Parlet he needed. He's done so in claw in that the match back. But he's got to do it here. King on two or one looking to be the first to a double. 134. Fantastic two treble nineteen cover shoots there. To leave sixty seven when he returns. Parlet can only pressure and he does so with a mix. Sixty seven for the match. Hit in for double sixteen. Game three. Impressive stuff from Ricky oh, King. 8-5 victory. And Dave Parletti there. So close for him. But tonight, he is our number one contender to take on Daryl Fitton in Bristol on April the 17th. It's going to be a fantastic match that if Ricky performs to this level. And so we look forward to that. And we look forward to future streams here on MadDarts.tv. For the England Invaders, number one can still time for tomorrow's Welsh. Uh, log on and uh, sign up for that. It's been an excellent night. Thank you very much for joining us. We'll see you real soon.